Thanks to the efforts of thousands of health workers, every day the world is closer to eradicating polio. The purpose of this video is to support training activities for the intradermal administration of fractional doses of the inactivated poliovirus vaccine, or IPV. With the help of this video, you will be able to properly implement the open vial policy, safely apply fractional doses of IPV intradermally, correctly register the administered doses, and promote the importance of completing vaccination schedules. What is IPV? It is an injectable vaccine containing inactivated poliovirus types 1, 2, and 3. The vaccine should always be kept between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius in refrigerators and in the transport thermos. This vaccine is safe and effective, but is at risk of being inactivated if it reaches temperatures below 2 degrees or greater than 8 degrees Celsius, and if it is exposed to sunlight or freezing temperatures. If it is suspected that an IPV vial has been frozen, it must be discarded. Open vial policy. Multi-dose vials of the IPV vaccine can be used for a period of up to 28 days after being opened if the following criteria are met. The expiration date has not passed. The vaccines have been stored properly and kept between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. The stopper of the bottle has not been submerged in water due to the thawing of cold packages. The vials remain clean and dry, and the vaccine vials are handled with proper aseptic practices. Vaccine schedule. Fractional doses of IPV administered interdermally are applied at two and four months of age, followed by three doses of the bivalent oral polio vaccine. The IPV vaccine should be applied simultaneously with the other vaccines that correspond to the same age. Avoid losing vaccination opportunities and remember the false contraindications. Procedure and technique of intradermal application of fractional doses of the IPV vaccine. Prepare the equipment and material. When preparing the vaccine, read the label and verify the name of the vaccine, the expiration date, and that the vial opening date is within the recommended 28 days for its use. Remember, when you open a new vial, you must write down the date and time when its use begins. Check the child's immunization record or card. Verify the age, the doses to be applied according to the schedule, and the corresponding instructions. Tell the parents the position to hold the child and avoid sudden movements during vaccination. Wash hands. Use a sterile syringe for each application. Take the vaccine out of the thermos and verify that it is the correct vaccine, its expiration date, and its open date. Draw up the correct dose. Return the vaccine vial to the thermos and close it immediately. Apply the vaccine to the opposite arm that was used for the BCG vaccine. Choose an area with healthy skin and tissue. Clean the skin with a cotton swab moistened in water, making centrifugal movements or going from top to bottom. Taking care not to go over the same place twice. It is not recommended to use moist cotton balls that are stored in multiple unit containers. Stretch the skin between the index finger and the thumb. Place the syringe parallel to the child's skin. Insert the needle into the skin with the bevel facing up at an angle of 10 to 15 degrees between the skin and the needle so that the tip of the needle is visible under the skin. Stop stretching the skin and slowly inject the vaccine. When administering the vaccine correctly, a small bleb of five to eight millimeters will be formed immediately. When finished, remove the needle gently. Gently stretch the skin to prevent the liquid from coming out. Remember, do not press, do not massage, and do not put compresses or medicine on the injection site. 
discarding needles and syringes. Deposit the syringe in the safety box. The needle should not be recapped, broken, or bent. Discard the material used, respecting sanitary waste regulations. When finished, wash your hands. Vaccine registration. Record the dose applied on the child's card. Register the corresponding dose on the vaccination form. Inform the parents that a bleb will be formed at the vaccination site that will disappear in a couple of days, that it is not necessary to apply medication, massage, or place compresses. In case of another reaction, consult the health center. Thank the parents and remind them the date of their next appointment and the importance of completing the vaccination schedule. We are very close to eradicating polio. Together, we can do it.